Okay, welcome back to Miss Survival. Today we are going to go attack a base. This never goes well, but I do have a um, shotgun now, so that's something I haven't really had. I would like to have the sniper rifle, so I could just sit off in the distance and pick off the guys. <laughs> but I have to get up close with that shotgun, even like the the bow and arrow. But I'm hoping with the shotgun it will. Uh, be a little bit easier because it should take him out in one shot. Now I just gotta remember where this base is at that I'm thinking about. I think it's at the top of this hill. I know it wasn't too far away. I think that's it right there. Yep, there it is. I don't want to get the car too close because we'll, then they'll shoot at it. So we're going to set up right here. Save for the inevitable um, 100 time respawn. <laughs> for a little ways. Just gotta be careful not to let them see me. What I do is get under the deck. Sometimes that works. Because then I can kind of shoot at them as they come around. There's one there. Oh. Yep, they saw me almost in. That's, that's one thing. They... They definitely have a good sense of their surroundings. And I don't know what the range is on this gun if I have to be pretty close. I need to have it pretty much a one shot kind of deal. Oh yeah, that stunk. One down. This game really needs some cheat codes. Ugh. The bullet hit there and I was pointing there. Too 
far for this shotgun. They can keep going up in that tower, that would be nice. They can take them off as they come up there. There's at least three or four based on the amount of fire. Hopefully, eighteen bullets is enough. I don't want to run out there if I, I finally, like, got it to where I'm not hearing gunfire. Oh, there's... Because I don't want to finally shot, like, eight of them. And get taken out by the one remaining guy. Do you know what? I think I'm going to save it right here. Now if I get taken out, at least I have taken out the last... Oh, there's... Oh, one more. Maybe more than one. He's shooting at that building or he's shooting from that building. played quite a while ago and I ended up falling off the tower and killing myself oh good another filter oh we've got they've got pockets too I want to check the pockets on this guy okay let's see what we got there should be a chainsaw here 
I've got boots. Carrot? Yeah. You would think with how much trouble this gives, I would think they would give a lot of stuff. Not just vegetables. That's good. A couple air filters is going to be a really good thing to have. You can't stack the carrots? <laughs> oh, a hard hat. I think it'll be a little bit better than, a, than that other hat that I got off the other guy. What is that? Tactical grip. Yeah, I'll leave him the broken shotgun. I'm probably gonna have to run down and grab my truck. afraid to eat because if I do I might end up hitting a a mist. Okay, I think I had got somebody up in the tower too. I gotta go grab my truck. At least it's kind of a defendable place. Oh, I keep trying putting away the things I don't want to get rid of. Okay, let's start exploring. Where's the... I'm trying to find the ladder to get up into that tower. They always seem to just kind of warp up the tree when they were getting into it. I don't know if I got anybody. Was... Nope, nobody was up here. Quite a few tires and stuff. another engine. That way I can possibly get another truck. Which I don't know if I need another truck, but... Okay, let's see. I think this is where we have to go to get up in there. Shetty. Don't really need that. Okay, well that's for my fishing tackle. This is one of the towers that I fell off of and died after finally getting rid of all the bad guys. Chainsaw. That's what I wanted. Oh, cool. A couple lockers. 
We're going to grab both of those. Bunch of feathers and stuff. Let's grab these. We'll get them on the ground. That one's locked. We'll mess with that once we get back to our base. I don't want to be messing around with it while we're out here, just in case. Okay, we're gonna go next. Okay, I've already been this way, but... How do I get over there? Got to be a staircase to get up that way. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, a couple more lockers. We're gonna have our truck packed to the gills. Definitely making it worth it. The last time I took this spot, there really wasn't much in it. It wasn't really worth the how hard it was. My biggest thing was to get that chainsaw. Huh, welder's helmet. broken assault rifle. Wait a minute, this, this is where the guy was supposed to be. Well, I think he must have fell through the floor when I got shot him. Walking around here, taking my time. Where are the stairs at? There, there. Okay, we've got a lot of lockers to go grab and get situated. Eh. Okay. I don't know if I would even care to use the assault rifle because it it's going to use a lot of ammo because it's rapid fire. Did I check inside this tent? I don't think I did. Oh, that's where that uh, fishing tackle box was at. Can we move? Yeah, let's take this. It's got a machete in it. Any storage is always a good thing. Another axe. disappearing their bodies are because I'm not seeing them yeah see there was one right here and there was a couple right there <laughs> I 
That one's kind of floating there. If anything, I want to get these lockers away from the base because I don't know how, you know, what the game is like for the respawning of the bad guys. jump and hit the try to jump and hit M so unfortunately it ah come on there we go Okay, now I have to try to get the stuff arranged. This little box is it. truck is kind of on an angle too, which isn't helping. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the truck parked on a flatter surface. If I can park right downhill a little bit, it'll be okay. Okay, now let's try this. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch open up these lockers. Yeah, it's even downhill isn't really a good idea because kind of puts them at the angle that the truck is sitting at. Guess that case isn't all that important, but we'll see. Yeah, we're going to play around with this a lot. As long as they stay in there, they don't have to be pretty. Because I will be mess taking a lot of these out of here. I'm not going to carry them all around with me all the time. I so don't want to leave any of them here. Next, I'm going to have to try to find out where the Scott character is at because then I can give him, I wonder if he can use the chainsaw. He'll be able to cut trees a lot quicker. I'm just excited to try it myself too. Because 
when you're trying to build a wall or a base or something that it gets really old really quick the tons of times you need to hit the tree just to get it to cut down makes it realistic but not when you want something fast paced oh yeah I don't know if that's all going to stay in there with the tailgate down but we will try it I want to take one more run around this base just to make sure I didn't leave anything important down below here These lockers open. Oh, wait a minute. Just in case if I'm on my little run around the base and I accidentally fall off and die, I don't want to be going through all trying to put all those lockers back up and everything like that. Get that axe, I guess I'll take it. And that tire. Just forgot that. Cloth seems to be fairly pointless when you're not building a bed. Which I I probably will once I get some of the survivors. Wow, you can really see my base from here, can't you? <laughs> Let's make sure we're not dumping everything out on the ground. Tailgate did close on its own. Yep, there's one of the boxes. Nice, we haven't had a mist in a long time. Probably just jinxed myself, but I've got my full base, so I don't really have to worry too much about it. As long as the zombies don't spawn into my base. the episode right here uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe I will be putting the next video will be coming out where I will be opening these lockers I might try to get them off the truck off screen so you don't have to sit through me trying to fight with them again um, but then we will be busting open those two locked ones and see if we got anything cool in it plus we will be trying out our chainsaw for the first time I would like to play with it right now, but we're going to save that for the next episode. Okay, well, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.